Yes, sir. <coughs> amendment to remove landfill, but I want to talk about something because it, it bothers me to think we have misinformation floating around about the landfill. Um, and there was some discussion about Mr. Jones, so let me talk about Mr. Jones for a minute. Um, he is our certified landfill operator. Um, we did have two folks out there. One gentleman worked Saturdays, Mr. Jones worked Thursday and Friday. That was just what we were able to acquire. Um, with it being a part-time position, your candidates are, you know, it's a smaller pool of candidates. Um, we are using Mr. Jones um, as our certified operator, but he is actually a consultant with an extremely impressive history um, of doing very large projects for very large companies. And one of the reasons that we felt it was worth bringing him in is because he was going to look at whether we could find some revenue opportunities with our landfill situation. Our landfill isn't even bringing in 50000 a year, and it's costing us 400000 a year to run. That's not a good business decision, folks. It just isn't. And it's not sustainable, and it's why our, our folks, our employees, have been on furlough days for four fiscal years now, um, because that's how we're paying to keep the landfill open. So Mr. Jones um, is one of those very, very brilliant creative thinkers who helps people find different ways to create revenue. And he has an, a background in energy generation, selling energy back to the grid. Um, we wanted to explore whether we could sell our methane, um, convert it to electricity and sell that back to the grid. We're willing to think of, look at and think of anything that would make the landfill break even. Just break even. Um, doesn't have to necessarily make a lot of money, but it's got to do better than this. So he's not just a landfill operator. He's um, actually doing us a favor to come here and work for us at probably what's a fourth of his normal regular hourly rate. Um, and he's a short-term arrangement. That is not a permanent employee out there. He's been brought in to help us find a way to turn this around. Um, and once he's done everything he can do for us, he'll be going on his way to work for someone else and make a lot more money than what we're paying him. So, you know, we can talk about what he's being paid an hour, Miss Patrick, but the landfill operator that was there when you served was being paid twenty an hour, and and and, and the not people at the end and, not and, and the people. She's going to to me. I should have the right to speak. But let me finish. You you had your say. Let me have mine. That's it. 